and welcome to another edition of Drop In Bounds with me, your host, Corey Ballmeister. As always, brought to you by the lovely folks over at Star City Games, bringing you the best in online trading card needs as well as online tournaments. So we are jumping back into the wild, wild west that is Pioneer since the bans uh, took place a couple weeks ago, three weeks ago or so. Um, and the format looks extremely healthy. It's very wide open. You can kind of play whatever you want. I want to be playing Luca. I started off playing it just kind of thinking it was a meme, but the more and more I play it, the more and more I think this is the best deck in Pioneer uh, with these changes that people aren't really playing. So uh, outside of the normal stuff that we saw in Jeskai Luca, Teferi's gone because of the bands, but we got to add Azekas Chariot and Mythos of Aluna. These two cards together are just unbelievably powerful. Being able to Mythos something and then attack with a Chariot copy whatever you mythos, maybe Agent of Treachery, is just absolutely outrageous. We did some crazy things in this league with mythos, so I'm excited for y'all to watch. You can fast forward to any of the three matches below, as well as the deck tech at the end, but I do talk about the matches, so if you don't want them spoiled, watch the matches first. So without any further ado, here's round number one. All right, and welcome to round number one here with four color Luca Fires. We are on the draw up against Luris and Alfredo Torres, who is a phenomenal magic player. Um, but with it being Luris, I gotta assume it's either Burn or Black White Auras. Um, and with it being either of those, I think this hand is a little too slow. Cycling Sharks isn't great. We really want to prioritize like Chain to the Rocks, Anger the Gods, and then of course still having Luca and stuff, but having Agent in our opener as well is just a little bit too bad. So we are gonna mulligan. Um, okay, so we have Anger. Um, we have Narsa, which is a good way to refill. And then Detention Sphere is actually very good as well. So what to put back, it's definitely between Narsa and Shark Typhoon. And if we were on the play, I would put back Shark Typhoon, but being on the draw, I think we're gonna put back Narsa. The likelihood of this card just being three mana, soak up three damage, look for one card is gonna be pretty high. And while that's still fine, it's not ideal. So we're gonna keep, we're gonna get rid of this and we're gonna rock it. Let's hope for a 3-0 here in a, a special Pioneer edition of Dropping Bombs. All right. Okay, or some kind of heroic deck. Either way, Detention Sphere and Chain to the Rocks are gonna be excellent against this style of deck. Now they will have protection-like spells, um, which can be a problem, but blinking them back with Yorian tends to be pretty nice. Okay, that seems weird. All righty, well, I think I do just play this to get anger ready. I don't really want to kill either of these creatures yet, um, just in case I want to cast that next turn if they drop a couple of small creatures. All right, I will take two. What do we got here? Okay. Not a bad anger. Not a bad anger here. I think I will go for it. We don't get the 04, but that's okay. Mythos, huh? It's an interesting one. Um, Yeah, I think it's just an anger here. It's just too good. If they have heroic spells, we likely might not be able to uh, have an effective anger later on. So I think this seems kind of like a no brainer. It also stops their Lurus uh, activations of bringing it back when you anger, so. That is uh, pretty strong. Okay. Okay, I guess our anger would have uh, been pretty good later on as well. Okay. Kind of want to just cast a big shark. I guess it's only a 2-2 though. Hmm. Another option, I could chain to the rocks this mountain, target this 2-6. I want to stem the bleeding a little bit and then just put Yorian into my hand. Um, and then next turn I can go 3-3 three, three shark, which will cleanly block here. I think I like that. So let's go like this. Chain to the rocks. Hit this. Another um, great 
Great option against their Lurus, just exiling. They will be able to buy Lurus and then just play Sentinel Eyes from the graveyard without having to have the number of cards to escape it, which is strong, but okay. Okay, I do think I wanna get rid of this though. Okay, now I have options. Um, I could Mythos and copy this and fight Elseid. A nice little two for one. No, because then they can just bring it back. So I probably do want to, definitely gonna play our land. Definitely a decent amount of options here. Yeah, I think it's just 3-3 three, three Shark, actually. Or Yorian and exchange this 0-4 for the LC. That's not bad. That puts up a big wall. Then they're not going to be able to attack next turn. And then I can use Detention Sphere on Lurus. Okay. All right. Talk myself into it. This is the best way to stop damage from coming into. Not the best used Yorian. Like we're not getting a ton of value off of it, but that's okay. Give them back the O4, because it doesn't matter too much. Our opponent is deep in the tank. So we know the one card in their hand is Lurus as well. That is strong for us. All right. Mm -hmm. Get rid of Chained. Because Elseid is a card that does get pretty scary with Lurus. Just the ability to protect it over and over and over is, is too much. This card's an interesting addition. But I, I like it if there's a lot of deal three damage in the format. And these Luka decks are definitely playing a lot of eight uh, Angers and Deafening Clarion. So it seems interesting. Okay. We'd like a land. Okay, an untapped land. Sorry, sorry. I think we just have to deal with this, unfortunately. The only way to do it is with the Tension Sphere. White, blue, red, the Tension Sphere. Get rid of Lurus. And play this Triumph and say go. Now we can Mythos the Detention Sphere as well now as another pseudo removal spell. Okay. Interesting. Ah, Blessing does kill it. Okay. Um, probably just a 4-4 four, four Shark. Yeah, let's do that. A little defense. Might take a nice fiver here. Then we can start copying sharks and fighting, which is pretty strong. Could also copy Detention Sphere to get both Hateful Eidolons. Our opponent's deep in the tank. Yeah, I don't remember exactly who this player is, but I know they've been a grinder for a long time and I know they're, they're quite good. I, yeah, I'm not 100%. This might be the player who took second at Barcelona with uh, Hardened Scales. Oh, God. Okay. Might need to Mythos that. Detention Spirit, of course, but... All right, so we're going to take 10. Oh. This deck does just hit hard. Okay. 
That's pretty good. I'd like to take that, but I don't think we will have the time. So I think we start with Start with Omen. I will take another Mythos, because that's going to be excellent. This card is so good. This card's just been so impressive. All right. Guess we just die to Blessing. We just die to a Pump Spell now, which is kind of a tilt, but... Yeah, what can you do? All right, detention sphere this. And then we'll say go. I think if we can untap, we're gonna win. Okay. Okay. Do I wanna go to two or one? God, that was a good draw. Um. Kind of want to kill this first, and then I can agent this. They'll sacrifice it, but. It's this, they draw cards. I don't want them to draw cards, so I'll go to one. Yeah. Could also play a Zika's Chariot and Nissa at this point because I'll have green and blue. Then I die to another Elseid. But I would die to another Elseid anyways. So I think that's actually not bad. And Okay. And this cuts off their card draw. Okay, that's pretty sweet. Um. All right, so we'll go with a neat Narset. Yeah, I think that I think that is just a little bit better. Okay. Omen is pretty good too. Anger or Omen? I think Omen. Then I don't die to another Elseid. Yeah, I think it's worth it to not lose to anything. Okay, so we'll say go. Oh, Omen, so good, so good in some situations. Makes sense. Omen. All right, activate Nursa. Now we're gonna start pulling ahead. Birth, not very good. Um, all right, we'll just go agent. Go, whatever we target is not gonna work, so because of that, I'll see it. And now we get to get in there, start closing the game. And then next turn, Mythos plus Chariot. Mythos on Agent to copy that, and then attack with Chariot to copy the Agent token. It's just insane. Mythos is so good in this deck. All right, one, a two, a three. Oh, wait. Well, whatever. We can play Chariot first. Mythos. On Agent. <laughs> so Mythos was a detention sphere. It is an agent. It just does it all. That should be game, yep. All right, this matchup isn't great though. I will uh, I will throw it out there. We don't have much in the sideboard, just the verdicts. 
um, you know, for, for a couple NAR sets. But other than that, we kind of like all our cards. Um, so not, not a great sideboard for this. Um, I don't know really what we can get to make it a little bit better. I guess just more removal, more detention spheres, stuff like that. Because that is kind of the card. Detention sphere and chain to the rocks are excellent in this matchup. So, I mean, we could just play more of those in the sideboard. The one change I do, I am considering, is just getting rid of uh, Elspeth Conger's deaths altogether. And then that would make room for some more detention spheres. Um, I think that could be reasonable. All right, let's battle. Game two on the draw. I guess describing our plays, our clock is pretty low already. We'll have to kind of hustle it a little bit here. All right, I'd like a Yorian, please. Okay, we don't have double red yet, but we have an Omen to look for it. And then Omen of the Sun to buy some time as well. Anger of the Gods can get outclassed pretty quickly uh, in this matchup, so it's usually okay on the play. Or if our opponent had a draw, kind of like they did last game where they just had a bunch of creatures, um, then it's not so bad. All right. A Luka for turn five. An 04. Okay. Anger's starting to look good so far. We'll see what the next turn brings. Alright, we'll say go. We also would need a red. Bylaris, Bylaris, Bylaris. <laughs> okay. Okay. Not bad. Okay, come on. Give us that red source. Red source. Untapped red source. Untapped red source. Ugh. Ugh. Supreme Verdict is pretty dang good as well, so I think I have to take that just in case we don't hit red, but... Ugh. Untapped red. Mm. Well, now I think we just omen to buy some time and then we just um, verdict or we get a little greedy. And just omen into verdict and then save this omen. Now, nah, I think we're behind enough where we we're going to need to do a little catch up. And maybe we go to like kill a SRAM and then they replay another one or something like that. Oh no. Yeah, that's, that's punishing. All right, what do you want? What do you want, Alfredo Torres? My hand's pretty good. Yeah, if they take Supreme Verdict and they don't go ham on enchantments, I may just Omen of the Sea. Okay. I do kind of want to just kill all see it because that can prevent an anger. They do get to draw a card, I guess. Maybe I'm supposed to omen and just double block here. You know, maybe I am just supposed to omen for a red source. Just take six. Could omen for a fires as well. All right, all right. You got me, I'll take it. Playing with fire a little bit here. Chariot, can't cast, the untap white land, don't need that. Bottom them both. Okay, Mythos is not very good right now. Well, I think it's just Taplan and then Omen and hope for the best.
Yep. Not loving how this game turned out. Would have been so different if we got an untapped red land. Okay. That's a cute combo. White. <laughs> all right, all right. Okay. This is gonna allow us to actually agent if we want. Okay. And I think we'll want, especially because we can take SRAM. Can I take seven and double block here? I think I can. I think that's our best block. Omen. Okay. Okay. We Luca, Luca El Cid as a blocker, I guess. Otherwise they give protection to whatever and we're just dead. Yeah, I don't think I have another option. Could take this. And they do have to have some pump spells. And then, oh yeah, and yeah, they can't give this. Uh, yeah, that's not bad. Okay, that did shrink, because that is creatures you control. But yeah, then, then I have two creatures I can block with, so that's pretty good. And now I can steal a lot of permanence next turn. Uh-oh. Well, we got to try to soak up as much damage as possible, I think. Oh, it's all at Luca. Oh, okay. Never mind. Then we just get to eat stuff. Um, so I want to kill this. And I want to block here. Then it goes down to one, but stays alive. And my creatures live. So let's go with that. Mmm. Yeah, I don't think that works like that. Okay. Okay, so we'll, I guess we don't want to tick up. Yeah, we can tick up. Hope we don't hit, to be honest. Um. We did not. Now, one card, El Cid here. Okay, let's go. Let's cast a birth. We don't have green to fight. This would make this insane, or at least a little better, but we'll still mythos. You control, okay, perfect. Make a copy of agent. Now I think it doesn't really matter what we take. Um, everything's gonna get protected anyways, but we'll take this. And then that's it for us.
Now we could Luka next turn. Okay, scary. Gotta get this off the battlefield. That's the only way they win is by going ham. Four, eight. Um, yeah. I want to save Luca. Then they get Sentinel's eyes back. I don't want that. But I do want Luca. Okay, well, now we have a very clear play. A very clear and good play. Holy cow. All right, that was insane too. Okay, one, two, three. Anger. Um, now we take this. Take this. Um, and now do we wanna buy Yorian instead of play another Omen? I think so. Just to guarantee that, we'll get our Yorian and we'll say go, this is going well. All right. Buy Luris and play Luris, that's not great. That's all they got. Yeah, you don't even want to play it because I take it. Oh, wow. Oh, we're a little short, but that's still pretty strong. Um, So let's attack. I can just go Mythos here and then Yorian next turn. Yeah, that seems good. Take a land, gives it to me on tap, that's cool. And then we'll say go and Omen. Yeah, now next turn our Yorian is just unreal. We will play an Omen. Okay. Do we have another agent? One's there, one's here. The rest have been copies. Um. Yes, yeah, so we can just Luca or we can Yori. I mean, Yori in here is just insane. So let's just do that. Um, Hiya. Yorian. This would not come back, so we can't do that. And then we'll say go. Oh, I wonder if I just take a land here. I kind of think I do. LC it prevents anything, anyways. Let's just start stripping them of all their lands. Chain to the rocks is fine. We just haven't drawn fires at all, but just have not needed it. All right. A uh, your go. <laughs> I think we got this one, y'all. I think we got this one. Yep. Cycle. There's the fires now that we actually don't want it. Okay. Verdict, huh? Probably don't want to do that. All right, well, let's start with 
a chain to the rocks. All right, this is gonna be nice. Targeting Luris. They're gonna give it protection, then we're gonna steal it. And then we can even bring back a Berthamolitis for value. And we're gonna draw a lot of cards. <laughs> I'll be taking this. Oh, come on, where are you going? Where are you going? Anyone's game. I got to play the free Birth of Melodius from the graveyard. <laughs> All right, everyone, that's gonna do it for four color Luca Fires. Stay tuned for round number two. All right, everybody, round number two here with four color Luca Fires. I will be selecting this beautiful bird serpent. And looks like we are on the draw with quite the heinous hand. Um, It's... So nothing... We don't know anything about their hand. Without knowing anything about their hand, it kind of leads me to believe mono black aggro. And if it's mono black aggro, this hand's just gonna get run over. So I think this is a close mulligan. If I was on the play, I think I would keep this, but a close mulligan. Well, I don't wanna go to five. Fires is a very important card. So I'm gonna keep this one. It's not great. We already have our green. So I'm gonna get rid of Frontier. We already have our green and Fabled Passage as well. Yeah, a little bit of an unfortunate hand, but I still think it's better than going to five. But we'll see. Okay. I wonder what this could be. All right, great start. Great start. Oh, I hope it's not a control deck. Control is not fun to play against. Okay, is this just, oh, this is just uh, 60 card Niv. Okay. Well, our draws have just been insane. So uh, we knew we wanted to keep this perfect hand the whole time. Uh, no mistakes were made. Yeah. 60 card Niv uh, pretty much runs the st same stuff as 80 card Niv um, with just a little bit less of the randomness. You know, the random one ofs for Bring to Light. It's just really all the cards you need. So I, I do think this is a good matchup though. Luka decks normally are very favored against niv Mizzet decks. You just take all their stuff. You just take all their high impact stuff. Okay. I will play an Omen. I don't mind Omen, but I don't love it. I think we can do better. And we did. All right. Um, yeah, just Narset. Narset Arena. I say we select Anger the Gods. That will be a heinous card and we'll definitely side it out. So yeah, that's that was not a good hit. Okay. Not even attacking for one into the Narset. How foolish. Players can't pay life or sacrifice non-land permanents. Okay. Well, this is kind of cute. This is kind of cute. I think I am gonna do this play. So, all right, we want Luca, but I'm gonna play Mythos here. Green, blue, so we just need blue. Blue, blue, red, green with the fight mode to kill a Zika and have a Yasharn and get a land. That's pretty disgusting. We can't do it with fires though because you have to pay the mana. So we'll have to settle for fires plus Luca next turn. Darn it. <laughs> red, green, cast with color assistance on a Yasharn. This is just incredible. Uh, fight this. I would like a forest. Oh yeah, I get two lands. That's right. That's insane. Okay. Fight that and we'll discard Fabled Passage. Now we can 
Discard the planes. Thin out our deck a little bit. Yeah, that was nice. And then we can use that creature to sacrifice it to Luca. So I, well, I do like having a Narset around. I don't think it's worth it here. So like, let's say they played Niv. I would definitely rather just steal a Niv. Oh, no. I wouldn't mind taking that as well. Okay. Fires, we can even play Fabled Passage. It's kind of cute with this Omnath we're about to steal. Exile this, take your Omnath. And say go, we could gain some life if we want, but more importantly, we can use the mana. Not that it's gonna be super valuable, but. Another Gusher Hands. Yeah, if they pair with Fabled Passage, I'm a little afraid. Our Narset was holding back these, dang it. That's pretty good. See what else they got. What the hell is that? Okay, that's a Dread Boar apparently. I hate cards that look like this. I absolutely hate it. Maybe that's just me being a grumpy old man. Oh, that's all they had, huh? Uh, Yeah, I'll take four. Absolutely. Chained to the rocks is pretty good. So let's use that as spell number one. Okay. Then we're probably gonna buy our Yorion. Get this Omnath out of here. And then we can attack. Take that, you're at 20. Okay, so now we wanna buy Yorion. Well, let's use the mana we get from this land. So let's go like this, gain some life. Sack this, add some mana. We'll leave the white mana because I think we'll cast Birth of Melitus. So now let's get everything out of there so we can cast more spells. One, a two, a three. Okay, now let's cycle. I wanna, yeah, leave up my green and cycle first. Okay, we can cast this. A bottom bottom and cast birth Melitus. Not a bad turn. And now the question is, do we want to steal a land or do we want to uh, just steal Yasharn? I don't really care about Yasharn. I think we're going to take a land. Any color we can cut them off of? Blue, white, green, no. Red, no. No, we can take, uh, I do wanna, doesn't really matter. I guess I wanna take them off of Gotha, in Gotha trial. So let's take that. Uh, yep, top, top. And things are going well, this bomb. I'm telling y'all though, this deck is unbelievable. 
I didn't do well in the challenge and I'm really kind of pissed at myself because I double queued another challenge and I just threw away matches left and right. So it was, uh, it was disappointing. So instead of one challenge, I, I kind of ruined them both for me. I hate Chain to the Rocks for that reason. They have a lot of Abrupt Decay style effects. And then I just kind of give them another land, but you know, what can you do? A Clothis. Oh, no big deal. We don't have anything. We don't have too much going on here for this turn, but mm, I think we will start with a Narset. Wouldn't mind like a Shark Typhoon. We could sack one of these omens first, just to try to guarantee a hit. Oh, I can't do that actually, yep, okay. Uh, because of your charm. Lucar Mythos is I think our best draws. Just more agents, who would have guessed? Neither of those are what we want. So, probably just go with this. Yeah. Now, I think I will start getting aggressive. I don't care about my Omnath anymore. So we'll attack for eight. See if they care about either of their creatures. All right, now I can sack omens again. Set up a nice draw. Get to look at the top five cards for something good. And then Narset will give us four more looks. So top nine cards for something powerful, no big deal. Um, math, staying alive. Does this bring to light a Tybalt? Okay. Powerful. Exiling agent, eh? Pretty rude. Uh, do we want another Narset? Not a bad card by any means. And this is gonna be empty after this? Okay, I'll keep it. Okay. Again, two life, activate Narset to start. There we go, eh, not as good. Now that we don't have, um, well, we don't have this, but we can just Mythos away Tybalt. That's pretty good. Or we can Mythos Yorian. Hmm, that's a weird interaction. So I think I can hit that, but I don't know if I necessarily want to, because then they can agent and steal it. Yeah, actually I have a sick play here. I have an absolutely sicko play. So, we haven't cast anything yet. I guess I start with Narset, although I'm gonna be blinking this Narset. Yeah, okay. Let's start with this. Omen. Now we'll attack. We'll throw this upstairs and we'll kill Tibalt with these. Okay. 
We're gonna cast Mythos as our other card on Yorian. Pay zero. We're gonna keep this Yorian. All right, we're gonna blink out this, 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 this. Now, we are going to chained this Omnath. We're going to Omen, bottom, top. We could just cast Shark Typhoon as well here. Yeah, not bad. Now we'll just cast this. We gain a lot of value with this. So now this comes back. These all trigger and now we get to exile stuff again so that they cannot steal our permanents. Bottom, bottom, cats. And then we'll get more stuff at end step. No big deal. These games are a grind, that's for sure. But yeah, we got Luca too, I didn't even see that. Nice, nice. Still got a few agents. Yeah, they can take our Yorian, but they'll never take our freedom. Okay. They're so dead, but maybe they're trying to get us with the clock, which makes sense. Now we can make a giant shark as well and start copying the shark with Azika's Chariot plus Luca Agent steal some stuff. These are both owned by me. But they're controlled by them. So I think we're gonna Luca and just take back our Yorian. Then make a giant shark and copy it. Oh shoot, this is on me. Oh no, never mind. Bottom, 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 top, kitty cats. All right, I'm just gonna cast one of these. Cast with fires, cast with fires. All right, negative this, steal our Yorian back. All right, crew. Tack all, copy the Sharky Shark. I don't even need to Narset, whatever. <laughs> We're gonna make a, a lethal shark there as well. All right, so sideboarding, we definitely want Elspeth Conquers Death, we want Disputes, and Vetoes are okay, they're not great. Uh, hitting bring to light is okay, so I think we'll do that. Yeah, we definitely bring it in because we have a lot of enchantment based removal we don't want as well as angers. So that's the cards we don't want. So unfortunately we do have to play um, three cards and this leads me to want to adjust the numbers a little bit um, just because of that. But it also leads me to kind of want um, to play Void Winnower. The only problem with this is they can just like Tibalt it. Uh, there's usually other removal spells as well. So I think we'll just go with Detention Sphere. But yeah, like I said, I do not love that because they can just, um, you know, they have so many ways to destroy it. But I think it's better. Yeah, so that's the, that's the one number scenario where I do need something else in the sideboard, but 
We just hope we don't draw Chain to the Rocks into Tension Spheres, but there is applications where you can Chain to the Rock and niv it and get through for lethal or something. So it's not awful, but it's not great. Okay, I think this is fine. Can't cast the Cadillac yet, but that's okay. All right, their turn. Yeah, that doesn't really matter though. That's the nice thing is we don't really care about that. With Chariot, you really just have another alternate win con where I'm never afraid of Cage or Unmoored Ego anymore like I was in previous Luka Fire decks. And that's just what I love about this deck so much. Like, it's just not a big deal. Okay. Oh, the birth of Miletus. Thin our deck a little bit. Probably nothing too exciting next turn. More than likely just buy Yorian. I don't think I want to just make a 1-1 one, one yet. So we can't Luka with this on the battlefield, though. All right. Not that big of a deal. Take the agent. Take the agent. So I can Elspeth Conquer's death at back. Just kidding. Yeah, no. That does shut down this as well. Okay. Well, now I kind of want to hold this up, especially since they don't know about it. They might go for like a Nahiri or something. So we'll, uh, we'll say go and try to get them with that. Probably, probably will still cycle a shark if I, if I had to, because Fabled Passage or a green source is just so good. Okay. That's pretty strong as well. Now they know about our, our veto. Yeah, we'll make a sad shark. A sad shark. Really don't even, even if we get green, I might not play chariot because they can bring to light if they have a blue source. And that's really what catches them back up is a Niv. But if they just have Niv, you know, then it's a problem. That's why Vito isn't that great, because they can have Omnath too. Like, they can just play around my stuff. Okay, never mind. I'll be playing that. Okay. So we don't want to show them our fortress or this. I mean, we're going to play one of the planes. Just in case we get chained, I don't think we'd even cast it right now, but maybe. Fires and Detention Sphere, huh? Fires does allow us to play Chariot, but it shuts down our Dovin's Vetoes. I think that's still pretty good. Yeah, yeah, Detention Sphere just isn't that good. So let's do that. And we'll find an answer for this eventually. I don't think it's worth the one damage just in case they kill a wall or something. And then we don't get an extra card off Narsa. Okay, anything but Niv Mizzet bring to light nonsense. It's not even that bad, but it is good. Okay. So they're, they're blueless, so I do kind of want to deal with this if I'm given the option. We could have brought in Supreme Verdict as well, now that I'm thinking about it. Supreme Verdict's not bad against them. Yeah, we should have did that. Instead of one chain, one detention sphere. Dang it. Tilt here too, wish we had detention sphere.
We probably won't cast fires now. We'll just shark typhoon. Do we want just a 3-3 shark? Not really. So I think I will just buy Yori in here. Slow and steady, we'll get our Narset reset. I'm thinking of Fatal pushing one of my bad creatures. Dang it. That was pretty good. That was pretty good as well. So it looks like they got these three cards. So at least I can counter some of them, but Clothis is coming down now too. Yeah, this is all of a sudden not looking great. They don't even play that many nib mizzets, which is quite the tilt. Yeah, this isn't great. Wouldn't mind an untapped green source. No. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to play this and say go. Either make a big shark. Yep, Supreme Verdict is definitely the card that we want instead. Uh, you know, they, they have a lot of creatures. You know, they have a, a Zika... They have, Velky doesn't get cast often, but Omnath does. She's coming at me, huh? Yeah, I think I'm okay with that. Binding, huh? Yeah, I don't have that great of permanence here. I can't let them bring to light, so I don't mind binding. Sure. That unleash clothis. Yeah, that's scary. Just cast it. I want to cast my fires. Cycle. A oh, four four shark. God, if I can just get rid of this Azikas, they just do not have blue mana. I guess they're gonna get blue with this, but five, six. So like an agent would be great. I would just agent this Azikas like immediately. Then I'd probably go fires into agent. Our opponent's deep in the tank. Okay. Not too good. Um, yeah, I think I still need to counter bring to light. So I guess I just, well, I can Yori in here. Yeah, that's not bad. All right. And get our Narset back. I don't think they usually run too many counter spells, but you never know. All 
All right, nurse set, get on out of here. And then we'll say go. Okay, <clears throat> Binding's gonna get him a blue source, I imagine. We know they still have Bring to Light, that's the only info we got. And if they attack with just these two, I'll go double block Niv, block here. Cloth is gonna shut off as a creature here next turn as well when this goes away. Death Touch is gonna be annoying though. Face is the place. So we will double block, block. Cool. No! What a tilt. All right, Extinction Event, Dreadbore, another Bring to Light, another Clothis. Oh my God. Uh, I think I can counter that. Do I want to? Probably have to. All right, let's see what we can find. Not looking good, not looking good. Wish this was that other detention sphere we bought them, then we'd have a chance. Our opponent better be careful. They gotta win two games. So we won game one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, Zika's chariot. Not good. Um I think I start by cycling. Cycle. Okay, that's interesting. That's really interesting. So now it's fires o'clock. Next turn we can uh, do something, do some good stuff here. Um, yeah, let's chariot. They're gonna have some good stuff too. Don't, don't you worry. But maybe we can fight the good fight. Now we get to have six without having a counter spell value. Death touch. Okay, yep, that shut down Clothis, which is nice. They can just play Nahiri to uh, get it going. Now here he's not that big of a deal though. If it hits fires, you know, that's pretty good. Actually hitting fires is kind of annoying because then we can't de-sphere this. They just might want to hit chariot as well. Oh, tapped artifacts, so they can't. I wish they could. So 
is just a bring to light. Okay, what you got? Okay, six, seven, eight. Yes, we got a one. Now here he makes it lethal. Nice. If that can attack, yeah, I suppose it can. All right, GG, well played. All right, that was pretty awkward. Um, all right, so let's bring in Vertex. I still think it's better than Detention Sphere just because they have so many things. Nahiri, uh, Abrupt Decay. There's just so many ways to deal with it. Um, now the only problem is the cages, but I don't think cage matters that much. I honestly can see... Yeah, I don't like Dovin's Veto against this version. They just have so many creatures. They have like three Omnas, they have like three Niv Mizzets, they have a Zika. Um, it's just not that, it's not that all purpose against them, but Dispute is just excellent. All right, let's battle. Game three. Shoot, Mulligan. I guess we keep, but it's not great. We'll get rid of our agent. Get rid of our seven drop. This would be a tilter to uh, get crushed without drawing lands. But hey, if we can draw a couple lands, this hand's okay. Uh-oh. <laughs> they easily might take that shark typhoon and just go for it. Not great. Okay, I don't think we have to cycle then. Can wait till next turn. Okay. Now we will for sure cycle. Okay. Shuts down Luca. Hopefully we can just get an untapped land though and chariot them. A one one. That was excellent. Okay, I think it is more important to get a Zika's Chariot down. I didn't think we'd be curving into our four drop on turn four while having an extra land with looking at our opener. All right, no Nev Mizzets, no Omnas. They got some good draws, that's for sure. But do they have it? Uh-oh. Okay. We'll take it. Okay, it's crew four, so that's not great. I will just get Luca out here, though, and start ticking up. Try to find some agents. Good, we got rid of that other verdict. We never would want to draw the second one. Lame. Lame, lame, lame. A dread, a boar, huh? Yeah, that's fine. We did not actually care about that that much. Yeah, that's a good card. Uh, we're just gonna get Yorian, but that sets us up quite, quite nicely for a future play. The double Elspeth Conquers Death kind of play. Yes, I said okay, okay. Now 
Not a bad target for our ECD we just drew. One, two, three, four, a five. ECD. Get that out of there. They know we have your in, so whatever they're playing plays right into this. Okay. So. I'm guessing that works. Okay. Okay. All right. What'd you get? What'd you get? What'd you get? The dreadbore. A binding and a clothus. Okay. Now we get a nice turn though. All right. One, two, three, four, a five. A snorian. Get that ECD out of here. And we probably should just get the chariot out of there as well. I think I value two cats instead of four damage. All right, I'll say go. And get that card out of there, get some kitty cats. And hope for the best. All right, so they are under the ECD tax and they will be next turn as well. So all of these things do cost a little extra. Wouldn't be surprised to see them just six mana binding the old gods, like the Zika's Chariot or something. Yep. Yorian or Chariot? Oh, wow. Seems weird. Um, okay. I guess I can start with cycling. Yep, since we have enough lands here. So let's thin our deck first. Um, it doesn't really matter. Three cycle, we can cast everything. Okay. I do think I'd rather cast that. Maybe we get a Narset or something. No and no. Okay, crew this. Attack. Make an extra kitty. And we'll probably sack this omen. They killed that for a reason. The nice thing, if we were to get a mythos, we could copy their binding and kill their cage. Straight target artifact and deal two damage. That's pretty good. Okay. And then they can dreadbore this. Yep. All right. Wait, they're just dead. They had to take one for that. <laughs> kitty cat death, kitty cat death, kitty cat, kitty cat, kitty cat death. Nice. Woo! All right, everybody, we are 2-0 with four color Jeskai Luka Fires. Let's go for that 3-0. And I believe I played two matches before that. Yeah, let's go for that trophy as well. So see you soon. All right, and welcome to round number three here with Four Color Luca Fires. And we are, we're playing for the 3-0 on Drop and Bombs, but we're also playing for the 5-0 because I played a couple practice matches before. So trophy hunting here as well as playing for the 3-0 on Drop and Bombs. So high stakes magic going on right here. Um, I think we can keep this. Yeah, we got a pretty good, we are on the draw. But we got a pretty good sequence of either birth into anger if it's an aggro deck or birth into narset if it's a uh, control deck so either or um a pretty solid solid play okay black red oh is it that black red mid-range deck i hope so that matchup is awesome for us um i think i want to play this actually make some world where we cycle the only thing it hurts us for is <coughs> uh actually um, yeah, we can't 
actually play Anger unless we just play both of these duels. AKA if we don't uh, have a turn two play. So now nah, we'll still play this. Might bite us. All right, black, red. Okay. Yeah, I think it is that mid range deck and it is not a good matchup for them. Let me tell you. So is it worth it to birth into Narset here? I think it is, even though that means we can't anger next turn. I think I'd almost rather play Narset anyways. If they play another 3-3, I might regret it. But yeah, let's start with this. All right, and we'll say go. Getting the 4 that survives anger is also pretty cute in this deck. Karox Arena. I think we'll actually just give them this planes we just drew. I'm okay taking the damage. Beatdowns. All right, all right. Interesting use or non-use of that card. Wow, that was phenomenal. Okay, let's play Narsa. And next turn, Fire's Anger. Not bad. Oh, draw some cards. Narset's so good against this deck. Honestly, our whole deck is just insane against this Rakdos deck. So I, I really wouldn't be too shocked if this was an easy match for us. Uh, I don't, you know, I'm sure this deck has some good matchups outside of it, but... Against Niv and uh, Luca, I can't imagine it's very good. But who knows? I haven't played it a ton of times. We get a lot of options. I'm glad we didn't play this turn one because I think this will be a game where we're gonna cycle. They do, the one thing I will say about this deck that is pretty bad against us um, is they just have a ton of spot removal. So actually getting the Luca draw going is pretty tough. Hard casting agents is much more uh, likely to happen. I'll block. Not using channeler is weird. Okay. Seeker's chariot is definitely the pick. Now the question is, do I anger now or later? And I think I anger now. I. I'd rather anger get this out of the way. Um, I'd rather chariot if I didn't have a creature, but since I do, I think this is fine. Not like they've been actually using it though. That's the thing. I still think it's worth it. Anger is not that good against them outside of this. I don't think they're running young pyromancer. It's just channelers. Um, usually the young pyromancer version or when they play that, they have Luris as a companion. That's kind of the, the giveaway. So we'll try to get this channeler out of here. And now next turn, we're either gonna be trying to Luka them, I doubt it, or uh, cast something else. Yeah, with them going like this, I do not wanna play Luka. It's pretty risky. Um, but I will play a Zika's Chariot. Start getting that going. Now, do we want to play this or this? I'll still just play this. If they go Thoughtseize heavy on us, then we would rather have this Triome land. And next turn we can go Omen plus buy our, our beautiful bird. God, I love this deck, y'all. It's so good. Pioneer is quickly becoming my favorite format right now, and, and this is definitely my favorite deck. Okay, don't mind that. Not too much anyways. I shall block. Gonna Fatal Push this. Okay. It's pretty good. Killing all the creatures. So now they could Croxa us, but they are still one away from Croxing. If we hit this, it actually stops them. So, okay. So let's go like this. And now I kind of want to, oh, I still think it's probably fine to just play this. Might get punished next turn. 
They don't know about this, so they might not play around it. Glory Bringer, that's not gonna play around it. Sweet, 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 sweet. We're gonna get them good. That'll be my Glory Bringer. Wow, and I get to crew Azika's Chariot. Oh no, we'll be one short. Cause we'll have to sack one of the creatures. Still completely fine, one, two, three. Four, five. Luca. And they're hellbent. Yeah, they're in trouble. I guess I can attack first. Yeah, and I actually want to play the Triome now because next turn I can Yorian. If I play the Triome. And then I win. And then I win. I love the games when I win. I'll be taking this. And I'll say go. Yeah, this uh, Rakdos matchup, it's not good for them. I bet they destroy creature matchups though, you know? like, And there's a lot of those to be fair. So, you know, the black, white auras, mono black, all that stuff you destroy. And then you just get wrecked by these Yorian lists. So let's go like this. Um, verdict seems okay. Mythos doesn't seem busted, but it doesn't seem terrible. Our exile enchantment effects are very good. Omen of the Sun seems very bad. Verdict is probably not needed. Wait, I guess Anger is not great, right? They, they probably just have channelers. I don't mind a few. We'll cut one Mythos. These aren't great either sometimes. I'll bring in the other Mythos. I just think Mythos is just such a good card. Copying any of our enchantments, copying their glory bringer or anything, like it's just too good. Some thought to bring to light or rest in peace, but they aren't a dedicated graveyard deck, so it's not that big of a deal. Oh, this hand is nice. I shall keep. I shall keep. Hopefully this is the game where we uh, get our trophy. It's looking good. A Yorgo. Is it channel or a clock? Wow. Okay. I have this. I have birth. I have this. And I say go. Sure. We got some extra goodies. Goodbye, Cadillac. That card's so messed up. I don't blame them. Not a bad draw as well. Um, Yorian or this, I think we just play Birth. Your go. We're all set on lands then. Can't fight with Mythos when we get all these this many planes, but who cares? Okay. I'm in love with fires this turn because I don't really want to play Mythos unless I really want to ramp, but that doesn't seem great. Um, I almost just want to buy Yori in this turn and just play a land. Guess I can just do that next turn. Yeah, I think I want to protect Yorian actually. So yeah, let's just cast the fires. Um, we can get blue, it doesn't really matter. I don't want to cast the other one. And now the real question is, do we want to copy a land? Do we want to mythos a land? to do a little bit of ramping. Let's 
It's not the worst. Makes our sharks better. All right, whatever. Might regret that. Okay, then we'll say go. This does allow us to like ECD next turn, buy Orient and cycle. Kind of cute. Mainly doing that to make bigger sharks in the future. Or if we top deck Shark Typhoon, we just get to cast it into ECD. Okay, that's not great. Let's cycle. That was excellent. Cast an Omen. Luca, that was also excellent. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna cast it. We're gonna go for it. We don't, it's probably not gonna work, but that's okay. Guessing Culligan's Command, okay. Yeah, we should probably hold some cards here. We have the extra fires, but it's the only thing we have for now. And we'll buy Yorian. All right, we'll say go. Now you gotta deal with Luca and with all these ECDs coming down, like Luca's just gonna come back, so. Oh, that's the worst land of top deck when you need one. What a tilt. Okay. Okay, now I think this is a, a pretty easy turn. We wanna get one of these, get one of these. We can't cast anything else, so just blink out this, make a token, and call it. Oh, uh, wow, okay, these are both pretty good. I definitely want Chariot, but the thing is I might wanna put D-Sphere on top to protect the Chariot. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. D-Sphere is perfectly fine, but Chariot is unbelievable. D-Sphere I may have even put to the bottom, but for the fact that I get to conceal Chariot, it's so worth it. Our opponent is so dead. <laughs> so very dead. Okay, yep, no problem. We'll make a token. Ding dong, Yorian's dead. All right. Now we got a chariot. And that's all we want to cast. The beatdowns begin. And we'll make another token. And we're getting Luca back next turn. They're so dead, they're so dead. Azika's Chariot can make copies of Ketria Triome too. Not that that's very good. Is this Glorybringer? Oh, you're dead. You're dead. I think I might just start taking lands and just ECD this anyways, since they've been a little land light. Yeah, that'll do it. That will do it. Hey, nothing like ending a drop in bonds with getting a trophy from a, a league. I think this deck's the real deal. Let's talk about every single card in the sideboard, as well as some changes that I actually want to try out. So don't go anywhere. We'll be right back in the deck tech. All right, and welcome to the deck tech here with my take on four color Jessica or four color Luca Fires. Um, I think this deck is really, really powerful, y'all. And uh, I think. We, with a little bit of tweaking, this is the best deck in Pioneer. Uh, you know, I'm a little biased because I do love this style deck and I play it a ton. But I think right now with the metagame not having any real control or combo decks, like we've been seeing a, a, a few Lotus Breach decks pop up. Uh, and that's why we have Void Winner. We'll get to that in a little bit, a little bit later. But without those decks popping up, I truly think this deck just preys on everything. Um, you know, crushes Niv Mizzet extremely good against mono black with all these angers. And I would say those are really the biggest decks um, as well as a ton of different aggro decks. The black white Lurus matchup is a little iffy uh, even though we did beat it in round one. Um, but other than that, I really do think this deck is just amazing. So let's talk about the deck. I have a few changes in mind uh, moving forward and the start is from the mana base. So mana base is pretty, um, pretty normal from what you'd see from other lists except these uh, frontier 
Boviog? Biviog? It's a weird word. Um, this is really the only thing that's different from my mana base. And then I play a couple castles because I play Luka, everybody else plays Transmogrify. Um, and I just do think Luka is better. Um, so the one change I would do, I saw this from Christopher Larson's uh, top eighting list, which I was a big fan of. Instead of these two, I just want to do um, green fast land. So Hinterland Harbor and Sun Petal Grove is the changes I want to make. Um, and instead of this, there's just a few too many tap lands. And I think those serve the same purpose. I wanted a, a, a card that had another tri another triome, but... It's just not worth it for the fact that it doesn't work well with um, Glacial Fortress as well as Castle Ardenvale. Um, I mean, I guess the lads wouldn't work with them anyways, but I just don't think it was worth it. Put two of those fast, la fast lands in, in in place of this. Four Chain to the Rocks, card's phenomenal. Never cut one of those. Three Birth, four Omen. I think I'm happy with the numbers. We only have three planes, so we don't want to go ham on Birth of Miletus, but it's still very good at protecting Narset. Um, then we'll talk about the four NAR sets. Unbelievable in these fire style decks because we play so little creatures by design of the deck. So auto include four of those. I played four Anger of the Gods because I expected a lot of mono black. I expected a lot of other random aggro decks. Uh, Rakdos Arcanist being another one. And this card's just amazing. I don't get why people play Deafening Clarion. Play Anger. The mana base can support it. It's completely fine. That is the one hit we are taking with Frontier, now that I think about that. Um, you know, it is another double red card when we're putting in um, a green and a white land and a blue and a green land. So maybe it is fine to just keep these. I, I think it's, it's okay. Um, you know, up to your personal preference. I think I would still play the fast lands, but that is a reason, that is the only reason to continue playing this because it would be another source of red mana. Two detention spheres, extremely good in certain matchups and extremely bad in other ones. So not good against any of the Niv-Mizzet or um, the mirror match, any, any control deck as well, but extremely good against aggro decks. So I'm actually considering moving them to the sideboard. Um, just because they are so bad in those matchups. And I'm actually considering cutting the Elspeth Conquers deaths. We saw them be pretty good in this last match, but they're never insane. So um, then we have two Omen of the Suns. This is in place of Raven's Warning. You know, some people really like that card. I just don't think it's that good. I expect more aggro. So Omen of the Sun is just a higher payoff to me. Um, and even against the aggro decks, they just kill that flyer. I don't like setting your sideboard up with a wisp package. So I do prefer Omen as well. Uh, four fires, four chariots. These are pretty stock now. Chariot has just become, has put this deck over the edge. So let's talk about this for a little bit because Azika's Chariot does a lot. Not only does it make two creatures... Um, to, to be able to Luka them later. Excellent. It also can be very good if your opponent hates out your cards. If they unmoored Ego your agent or they Graft Digger's Cage, you can just go aggro with this card. You can just go Azika's Chariot on turn four, turn five, cycle a shark, tap a set. Tap a shark and a bear, copy the shark, and all of a sudden you've just made a ton of power. And when your opponent's playing a card that says one mana, you can't do this specific thing, which is the combo, which is good because our combo is insane. Their, their draws are usually a little bit worse, so you can just kind of sneak in and win with an aggro draw. And then three Mythos of Aluna. This is my new tech that I've been playing last weekend in Standard and this. It's just unbelievable. Um, you know, we saw it do so many good things in our drop and bombs. And honestly, that's just how it's been. It's, it's been insane. We've, I've even had like much crazier moments, you know, like I've mythos a nib mizzet, um, and then crude nib mizzet with Azika's chariot attacked, made a copy of nib mizzet and just looked at a bunch of different cards. No, we didn't have a lot of, of hits. You know, I only had detention sphere, but I did hit, um, but just kind of cool stuff like that. And, you know, you can get Lovestruck Beast, you can copy a Kalidus, you can copy a Detention Sphere. It really kind of does it all. And then we got four Luka. Um, I like Luka over Transmogrify, but we do suffer in the mirror a little bit. Transmogrify is just a turn earlier, so it makes it a little tough. 
Mythos does help us in the mirror, so we kind of even out. But otherwise, against any deck with removal, like, look at Rakdos. We destroyed them because of this card. Uh, and if it was Transmogrify, it would not have done the same. Then we got four Shark Typhoons and then three Agents. Now, the only other change I would kind of want to make is putting these Detention Spheres to the board and actually just playing um, two Transmogrifies. You know, I still like Luka more, but just six effects to be able to do that, I don't think is bad. Um, and then we would just cut actually the Dovin's Veto and one ECD and put Detention Spheres in the board. I think that would be my last change. So then we got three Rest in Peace. Excellent against Arcanist. That's really all I bring it in against. But it's just that auto win card against them. Also Lotus Breach combo, I guess we would bring it in um, if we played against it. Two Elspeth Conquers deaths, anything big. Um, Niv-Mizzet being the main one. But otherwise, ECD is not very good in this metagame. It really isn't. Three Mystical Disputes, four on uh, niv to light Two Supreme Verdicts for anything aggressive. And then Void Winnower. A lot of people ask me about this card. What are you bringing in against? Two decks in mind. Uh, Lotus Breach combo, because it shuts down a lot of their stuff. And Jund Sacrifice, actually. Um, I honestly haven't played against it yet, so this is only theory. But playing that instead of Agent, they have so many sack outlets that you usually can't get a permanent anyways. So you usually just take lands. I just want to Void Winnower them so they can't Bullets the Citadel and collect a cup. And, you know, all their other two drops and four drops and stuff like that. But I think it's quite good. So that's a uh, four color um, Luke of Fires, y'all. I think this deck is unbelievably strong. And I, I think it is, like I said, no, you know, clickbaity title or anything. I'm not trying to do that. I think it's the best deck. Um, if we can make those changes and it is just an absolute blast to play. So I highly recommend it. Now let's talk to, let's talk about some lovely sponsors here um, as we wrap up this 3-0 dropping bombs where we trophied as well. That's always nice. All right, so first up, we got Coalesce Apparel. Check it out. The shirts I wear every single drop in bombs. Cedric and the Coalesce team, they make so many cool shirts. So go to coalesceapparel.shop and use the promo code, use the gift code SCG to get yourself 10% off at checkout. Next up, SCG Premium. If you enjoy checking out all of our amazing writers, you can get that bonus content for $7.99 a month. Uh, go to www.starcitygames.com and then hit the Premium tab to learn how to upgrade that. Next up, the YouTube channel. You're watching it now. Please like, comment, subscribe to the YouTube channel. You get all, all kinds of cool stuff. And of course, share dropping bombs. I really appreciate it. It makes me smile every time I see a retweet of dropping bombs. So really appreciate that. Next up, SCG is buying your cards. You can either mail your cards in. If you have a big collection, they'll come to you, come into the store, um, you know, or God forbid when uh, this pandemic ends, start up selling your cards at opens again. Um, SCG is giving you 30% store credit back right away that next Monday it'll be added to your account. So go to starcitygames.com slash sell uh, for more details there. Next up, we got Time Spiral Remastered pre-orders going on right now. This set looks awesome. This set looks so sweet. All these old arts um, just looks really cool. I'm usually not the biggest fan of these style of sets, um, but this one's amazing. I honestly, I really want to pick up a box here. So go to, um, you can pre-order it today at starcitygames.com slash previews um, to check that out. Next up, we got the sale. Our sale this time is going to be on foils. So from March 8th, March 8th to March 15th at 10.59 a.m., we have 15% off on all foils here, excluding any foils on pre-orders. That would mean uh, the Times Power Remastered. That would be sweet. Um, but yeah, check out that. Bling out your deck and, uh, you know, just get some, some really cool cards to boot here. So, all right. And last but not least... We have the Road to the Strixhaven Championship Tour. The SCG Online Tour is back. First event was this last weekend. Um, and, you know, just, just have a ton of awesome events for the next, you know, three months or so. Just a, a long time. They will be going on this weekend. So Friday and Saturday, if you want to play a little standard, there is four um, qualifiers on Friday and Saturday. If you go four and two or better, you qualify for the... Uh, Strixhaven Championship on Sunday. 
uh, where you can win a ton of money. You know, these are nice 5K events where you can win a ton of cash. And then if you go five and one or six and zero, oh, you get one buy or two buys into that tournament. And they're usually pretty big events. They've been extremely popular. So getting some buys into these is not only awesome to sleep in, but really helps out in getting to that uh, final elimination bracket. All right, everyone, that's going to do it for me. Oh, yeah, last but not least, I played a standard tournament uh, where I played Sultai with Mythos of Aluna in there as well. And that's what I'd recommend for standard moving forward for this weekend. Uh, check out my Twitter if you want to find that list. So that's going to do it for me, y'all. Thank you so much for watching this week's special Pioneer edition of Dropping Bombs. I think we are going to focus either on Pioneer or Modern here for a while. I've done a lot of the standard decks, and Pioneer is looking awesome right now. So I do want to play a little bit of that, so hopefully y'all are in for that. So we'll be seeing you next week for more Dropping Bombs action. Bye-bye.